Welcome. We are Rihanna and Massa, classical pianists and owners of The Piano Boat. Join us as we cruise the English waterways, making music along the way. Today we need to empty out the trailer and organise it. Um, this is where we keep all of our cruising things. Um, so it is an X. BT trailer which we picked up a couple of years ago, was it last year maybe? Um, and we, it gets very damp in the winter so we're trying to find a way to stop the damp um, and we actually had mushrooms growing um, over this winter which was not, uh, not great by any means. Um, so the plan is to take everything out, we've got a big tarpaulin which we're going to lay on the ground, take it all out and we have an extra storage box. Um, so that we can take all the chairs and tables that are piled up in the boat we can have somewhere to put them so they're going to go in the trailer the other stuff is going to go into the extra storage box and then we're going to lay a sort of pond liner over the bottom of the trailer and that will hopefully stop the damp from ruining things which are going to be in the trailer so that is the plan for today All of this has got to come out and be organised. But Matty did all of the organising in the first place, so I'm sure he will be involved with reorganising. Um, he put up all the shelves. Um, yeah, everything. This was this was a bit of a mess before, so it needs to look nice and have everything easily accessible which is his forte. This is our canvas um, for organising and we just got to get all of this stuff out. Well look at this! Whoa. Now we need to put the pond liner with the tape. A much more empty trailer at the moment. Oh, it's all getting back in place. Very impressive, and the floor as well. Yeah, clean floor. Clean floor. Very dirty box, no more. Very clean. Dusty. Dusty. Look at that. I brought some tea. Well, this is day two of our trailer and storage sorting mission, or just a project. Um, Rihanna's gone home. She's got a big, well, we've got a big day ahead next week. So she's got a three hour hair consultation booked. No one's here but me. So it's up to me to try and sort out this uh, storage box outside the trailer and we're going to see how this is going to work and that should allow us a bit more storage to to make it a bit easier for us to sort things out as we go so let's have a look well it's all looking incredibly tidy everything was done by Rihanna and Catherine I can't say that I contributed much but it's all clear so all we've got is Chris's dinghy, which we haven't used yet. But if you look at the state of our boat, this is certainly going to be useful to touch up the many scratches that we have collected last season. So here, this is all that needs doing. And this is where the storage box is going to be located. Sadly, the boat is looking a little bit worn, even though it's really only been a year, year and a half now, that we've had the boat for, so uh, much needed TLC uh, quite urgently on the agenda. But in the meantime, let's sort out the trailer. There goes the boat. It is the beginning of the boating season after all. Well, the whole area looked like this. 
So now I've managed to clear quite a bit of this area because the storage box will stick out a bit. So I thought this gives me enough access area to make sure we can store whatever we need to. So uh, that's quite a big job done. And excuse the, the music from the background, we've got a pub opposite the canal and uh, it's lunchtime. So I think it's lunchtime for me as well. Just imagine when half of this stuff, well not half, but a lot of this stuff is going to be sorted into this new storage box and which will give us much better storage options. So I've managed to lay this sort of base thing for the storage box, but we've both made mistakes. I underestimated the amount of gravel we need and Rihanna actually went and bought some slate instead of gravel so I had to try and pick the big ones and of course we don't have enough of the square brackets but this just extends the actual storage box only extends just up to this point so I'm putting the big slates in there and notice like here I've tried to put big slates as well and then put smaller ones to smooth the surface. I don't think it's perfect, but I think it'll do. I think the idea of this is that it does give good drainage underneath and suppresses the weeds. And I think it's doing the job, so uh, this will have to do. Let's see how things are moving on. Hello there. Whoa. Oh. How's it going? Catherine's making fun of the way I was screwing in the screw. Was it wrong? She's like, don't do it from up here. Uh, oh, looks like things are moving on well. Brilliant platform that I've built. Well, day three and this is it. It was very dark yesterday, but our storage box is now complete. And this will certainly add a huge, huge amount of storage options. What do you think? Yeah. Good. Job well done. On the instructions it said, now you need two men. So we were like, we are here and ready to lift this roof. Well, I didn't do anything. So. I did the base though. Hedges back, oh, yeah. which was a big job. Very helpful. Wall cleared up. And, uh, and then we realised there were two brackets that we forgot to attach, so oh, we are here. Some work to do, and then I should look forward to sorting out all the stuff in the trailer. Indeed. In the concert saloon setting, everything looks in place, luxurious and fantastic. But otherwise, the stacked chairs and tables. They just don't add anything to the area that we live in. But with nowhere to put them, they are always stacked in the middle of the lounge and they just do not look presentable. The space looks smaller than necessary and it's just not attractive. So the time has finally come as the trailer and the storage box is now in place that they can come out and we have room. And so that is the task of the day, to get rid of this jungle of stacked chairs and tables. Well, clearly the one last remaining project is the TV stand, but otherwise everything has just about fitted in here, except for the one round table which didn't make it, but I still have access to all the storage that I need, so that's all fantastic. But it's simply wonderful that we do have this extra space. This is actually quite sorted. We've got the barbecue stuff. We do have this prized hedge trimmer, uh, some engine servicing stuff, so all the hardware back there, extra toilet pump, water pump. And on this side, we have the pipe chairs for when we do need them and some serving trolley which hasn't been hugely successful in building or colouring, but it does the job and here's the table. It's all fitted fantastically. 
Well, that was all April, and now we are at the beginning of July, but it's done. This amazing storage box, Chris has been here a few times, and it's all now complete and sitting neatly on the uh, bracket or whatever you call it. And so far we don't have locks yet, but look at the storage. This will certainly accommodate the TV, the large screen TV that's been in the trailer and getting in the way for a while. Um, so it's all fantastic. And whilst I'm here, everything has been attempted to do something about the hard water situation. But now we have the solution here as well. Chris has also built this box which contains a proper water softener. It's like a household unit that you normally put in the uh, under the worktop and this has already worked fantastically. We are today on our way to a friend's narrowboat um, for a narrowboat trip which we haven't done for a long time. Are you excited? Albert Victor. It's an incredibly handsome boat. Very classic exterior, but the interior is hugely modern. Uh, I'm so looking forward to it. I haven't seen the inside yet, only photos. Um, but it's, yeah, it's very sleek. So we are off, armed with a bottle of wine. Off for a cruise. Yes, he uh, invited us out of the blue because I was just saying he's a member of the St Pancras Cruising Club with which we've done a number of cruises, you might have seen a few, but uh, he's just invited us for this short cruise, so uh, it'd be nice to be on a narrow boat again because it's always been rather wild, so uh, this would be great. You've got a lot of projects now by you. Do we? A lot of crud in the canal. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah it's the same stuff. Particularly it? where we we are. <laughs> oh. it's, it's apparently that time of the year where it just floats up uh, in the bottom. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look, have you seen the rivets? Yeah, very. Oh, the details. Gosh, it looks like a real fish. That's um, an Come auction. On. The sign writer do that completely freehand. That's yeah, it's always incredible. Fag, cup of tea. <laughs> That's the life. <laughs> yeah, well, what would you want it to say, mate? Yeah, yeah how about this? Right? And he just chalked it up freehand. Oh, wow. And he did a, a couple of. Um, to keep things oh, parallel, right. oh, top yeah. and bottom, but the rest of it, he just... Wow, it's a, that is a skill. It's a skill, isn't it? Incredible. Well, come on board and well, I'll give you a guide in. Wow, look at it. Oh, so it's smart. Very smart. Oh, there's a hybrid. Oh, wow. Very sweet. Oh, look at it. Wow. So, wow. Matt, Matt, Matt has seen bits of this, but, right. um, so a lot of this boat needs underneath the club deck. You saw the big Yes, thing. yeah, yeah. Very. Well, I remember you telling us about your plans yeah. when it was, before it was finished. Um, so, the, the, the easiest way to think of it is in these terms. So, this is the world's largest draw. <laughs> and, and, Everything goes back in exactly the same depth oh, as wow. this. Oh my goodness. And so this is oh, wow. where I keep bedding and stuff yeah. and pillows all in these things so that everything yes. stays dry. Yeah. We have the same. Yeah, it yeah. just makes a big difference because yeah. whatever you do, if the atmospheric conditions are wrong, yeah, you everything gets it. drenched. Mm. And then when we're dining, <laughs> if we're dining for two, we do that. Oh, okay. If we're dining for four, we do that. 
Oh. And then we're going to Wow. Very so, nice glass top. Yes, yeah, so that was that was the the um, bait fitter's idea. Ah. He said, "I've got an idea. What do you think?" <laughs> nice. Uh, it was like a proper table. Here goes with the whole thing. Yeah, it's, I, everything is always a compromise. So the, the various setups of the bed at the moment, but also here's a little bench seat. Oh, nice. As oh, well. yeah. yeah. Brilliant. In due course. My wife's going to make some cushions for them and go back, so you can have a slightly comfier sitting, but it's just so useful having the storage. So there are still some things to do. I've been There's always looking at sort of comfy chairs. Because yeah. I don't sit down much. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, it's like table. Oh. Brilliant. And then when they're down, there's enough room for yeah. spectacles. Mm. This yeah. is a nice big radiator. Yeah, it is. You've got these opening hatches. Oh, I just don't like windows, if you see what I mean. Do you get a lot of spiders? Oh, yeah. So many. Yeah. I mean, it's extraordinary. It is. I don't know where they just, they just aim for the boats, don't they? So this is sort of what you'd expect in a studio apartment is the way I would say it. So that's a Kruka tap which is always on boiling water. Oh really? Mm. And chilled filtered water depending on which way you turn oh, it. Very and nice. All that kind of stuff. And that's all I need to get you both in really at the oh, same yeah. time so I can make you this. And I, I think they did a beautiful job in Mm. Fitting it, I'm very much into my bifold doors yes. to save space. Yeah, that's great. And this is the incinerating toilet. Mm. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> and wow. your instructions are very simple. You want to go to the loo, so you open this cupboard and you take out something that doesn't matter whether you're girls or boys. <laughs> okay. Doesn't matter what you're doing. This is an essential piece of it. So this, you make sure is neatly folded in there, mm. so it captures everything. Mm. You close the lid. And Cinderella, very good. And, <laughs> and that is the flush. I see. The little arrow. And it will just make a, a noise. And what is happening is the mechanics of it are folding that up sealing it oh. and dropping it down into a combustion chamber. Wow. What a scary thing. <laughs> A number of things here. There's a bench that drops in there on the Desmo leg, so if you want more seating room, there's then a table that you can drop in either. And then there are two more inserts, should you wish to turn it into a camping area, and there's a canopy. Oh, really? So you can oh, have yeah. a two plus two. I haven't used it as mm. yet, yeah. but it, it's a possibility. Oh, oh look at that. This is this is quality. So you've got the shoreline bow and stern. Yeah. That's because another one we missed. Know where it's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> so Ooh, lots of storage. Proper man cave. Wow. <laughs> so <laughs> basically everything that you saw coming out into the saloon yes stops here stops there so underneath here against the um base plate is the water tank mm. so it sits here mm. and it literally covers the whole space it, the, 
purpose built stainless steel jolly. Yeah. And then this is just tons and tons of storage for sleeping accommodation. <laughs> But it's, it, in many ways, it's the best bit of the boat. Wow, yeah. So you've got everything you need. Gang planks, dog beds, the canopy, <laughs> the bed, yeah. anchor walk, the table inserts. And you know the lamp comes on there. Yeah. So, what's your impression? Very smart. Very smart and sleek. And it doesn't smell. Oh! Very long. I don't know what the style is, but very smart in you. Sorry? Hug style. Oh yes. And it's a narrow bar. Yeah. Well there's the front. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You can come in this way now. Oh. <laughs> Oh. What narrow boat? Here we come. I like I like the fit out pontoons philosophy though. You know, going for the latest stuff and just make it look fancy. Oh, look at this! Oh, that's a proper narrow boat. What a fancy boat. Expert maneuver. What I'm supposed to hear now is the reciprocal sound. And if you don't, there's nobody there. Well, that's the theory. That's a good thing. This is the bridge that we lost our fender, but look at this, absolutely no chance of that at all. There's so much more room. Definitely the advantage of a narrow bar. actually haven't been this way at all. It leads to Hanwell Flight, series of locks and eventually to River Thames. Certainly something to be in the bucket list as we call them. This is a very peaceful cruise here. Um, it's a narrow boat and shorter than ours as well. We 
back on a smaller engine so sitting at the front you can't hear very much at all um, the water is very still today um, and it's yeah it's really nice sitting out here on the on the tug deck well now we're approaching a lock ahead so time to spring into action but goodness, what a journey it's been. So peaceful, low bumps and scrapes. And I know I keep going on about that, but what a difference a narrow boat makes. I suppose the Stratford Canal and there are narrow canals. You'd think you'd have to take the same care, but generally I still feel narrow boats are the way. We always talked about Mozart. So, uh, Look how Mozart, as in you know, the, the our boat is called Rachmaninoff. We did always have this pipe dream or whatever you call it about owning a narrow boat. So uh, that was always going to be called Mozart. That'll be a narrow boat for sure. But for now, well, of course, we do have a fantastic boat to enjoy. So uh, I shouldn't complain. It needs a bit of TLC, so I should get down to it. Weather's warming up, which is great. But for today, I'm just enjoying this narrowboat cruise. I had to go at the tiller as well. Fantastic, smooth. This is a pretty sleek boat, I have to add. Yeah. yeah. Well, the weather's just wrong. Mm. I was forgetting to hold. What a lovely space. Mm. 